Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a, a very different video uh, to what we're used to on the channel. Uh, today I'm going to try and book uh, Becky Lynch's run from today until WrestleMania, and even a little bit after WrestleMania, so hopefully it all goes well. I've got a good plan in my head as to what I think it should be. Um, I guess it's a bit like Adam Blumpiate's um, booking as well, uh, so I'll challenge WWE to book it better or worse, uh, depends on what mine is. They might might already have better plans. So look, um, I'm filming this on the, uh, what's the date today? I think it's the 18th of December today. So it's um, before SmackDown and Raw this week. It's just after TLC, it's the day after TLC. So SmackDown and Raw has not been. Uh, we're six, uh, five weeks from the Raw Rumble. So we're gonna base uh, our sort of calendar off that. So we'll start with this week's Smackdown and it's not going to be much for Asuka, uh, Becky or Charlotte. It's just going to be Asuka's championship coronation uh, which I think she deserves. She's had a lot of wrong booking since uh, Wrestlemania so I think it is deserved that she has a championship coronation. Uh, so we start in the ring uh, all the roster and Asuka and Paige and everybody um, Becky and Charlotte aren't in the ring uh, but soon after Becky comes down, uh, she gets a massive pop as she walks out and she walks into the ring. She goes, Asuka, offers her a handshake, um, you know, congratulations, you were the better better wrestler, you were the better person. Um, you know, you're not the man, but you're pretty close. Um, that's my title, keep it warm. You know, sort of that, just offering her hand, saying well done, but that's mine, you know, keep it warm for me. So uh, she does that, uh, she comes off looking good. Uh, Charlotte does not come out, and that gives us a bit of bit of doubt as to whether her ribs are good. She took a massive spot yesterday off the ladder. Um, if you saw that, it was manic. If you didn't, please go and check it out. It was, it was something to behold, uh, definitely props to her. So we're a month from WrestleMania now. Uh, Becky opens uh, the next week's SmackDown going. Um, I've had time to reflect on the TLC match and I was robbed. Uh, as simple as that, I was robbed. Uh, Ronda had no business being out there. Or I would have just pushed Charlotte off the ladder, would have walked up, kept climbing, I would have retained still being the man. Not that I'm not the man now, but I would have been the top dog still. Um, Asuka uh, doesn't do anything or say anything, but we do see Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte appears and she goes, well, I was robbed too. I was on the ladder at the same time. Ronda screwed us both, how about we team up? And she goes, no, no, uh, you were the challenger, you had, you weren't robbed, I was the champion, I was robbed, uh, they bicker, they argue, Paige then comes out and goes, enough, I've had enough, um, tonight we're going to have a number one contenders match, whoever wins that becomes the number one contender, of course, for Asuka's championship, uh, at a match of their, at a time of their choosing, because they can't obviously fight at the Rumble. So, we have that match, and it's a very, very good match in my head. Um, Charlotte and Becky uh, put on an absolute masterclass. Uh, Charlotte begins to lose, and she begins to get frustrated. Becky's getting on top of the match. She gets a kendo stick as Becky is down, and she's climbing back into the ring, and Asuka, who's sitting at ringside, steals it off her. Charlotte is very annoyed at that stage. Asuka just trying to do the right thing. Becky rolls her up. One, two, three... Uh, we have a new number one contender in Becky Lynch. Uh, three weeks from the Mania now, uh, we move on to uh, the Mania, the Rumble now. Uh, we move on to a contract signing, and it's Becky Lynch and Asuka going, um, you know, we, we agree, we comply to fighting on um, next week's SmackDown, next week's SmackDown um, for the title, uh, yada, yada, yada. It's all very well and good. Becky then has a tune-up match against the Iconics, both of them. Uh, makes her look very strong, um, you know, standing tall, essentially, saying, I can beat two, I can beat you easily, Asuka. Uh, so that is that. Two weeks from Rumble, the Rumble now, um, Asuka and Becky are going to get their, their match for the title. Becky's going to get her rematch. Uh, she's walking down. Uh, we see her walking to gorilla posi the gorilla position. And she's attacked by Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte attacks her, um, rendering her useless for the match. Charlotte then walks through uh, to Becky's music, she quickly turns to Charlotte's music, 
and she takes her spot in the match. Um, you know, Becky does not get her chance. And Paige is um, unaware to all of this somehow. Um, Becky, uh, not Becky, Asuka retains uh, due to disqualification. Charlotte gets annoyed. She belts the living daylights out of Asuka with a kendo stick. And, um, you know, so she gets protected because you can't have Charlotte lose clean. Uh, she's protected by that loss. Um, Asuka is still the champ. It plants a seed, I guess, moving forward. You know, Asuka, Asuka said, well, you can't beat me clean. Charlotte goes, well, you can't beat a kendo stick. Um, you know, Becky, we cut to a backstage segment. Becky Lynch is looking a bit beaten up, looking a bit worse for wear. Walks into Paige's office and goes, did you see that? I can't believe you'd allow that. Um, bugger this, I'm entering myself into the Royal Rumble. Um, and she picks a number and she does not reveal it to us. She, she keeps it hidden and she walks off looking a bit happier than she did walking in. So now, a week from the Rumble. We are a week from the Rumble. It's fight week, I guess. Um, Paige opens the show saying what Charlotte did last week was uh, not good. It was disgusting. It was appalling. It was um, the consequences will be severe. You are now long, no now longer not allowed to enter yourself into the Royal Rumble, um, the Women's Royal Rumble, and uh, there's a bit of a boo around the crowd. You're also fined fifty thousand dollars for. Uh, ruining Becky Lynch's match, um, you know, it was not your place, you know, get to the back of the line, essentially. Um, so there is a bit of doubt around what Charlotte's, uh, Charlotte will do going into the Rumble um, and moving forward into the WrestleMania season. So Becky Lynch um, doesn't do anything, I don't think Asuka will do anything on this either. There'll just be a couple of singles matches with the rest of the roster. Uh, we now move into the Royal Rumble. So at the Royal Rumble, uh, we have uh, all the matches which are well and good. Becky Lynch enters at number one. That was my plan. I don't know why I hesitated there. Becky Lynch draws number one. Sasha draws number two. They, I, want, I wanted that because you can't really have a jobber. You can't really have Lana enter number two because storyline-wise, Becky just eliminates Lana. We move on. So... Um, Becky number one, Sasha number two, they have a very good opening stanza. Three, four, five, and six enter. Um, they can be whoever you want. But seven is Candice LeRae. Now, that might be a bit weird, but I think you have to. I don't think you could really bury uh, Naomi or somebody. I was thinking it should be Naomi at number seven, but then I thought, no, it needs to be Candice LeRae, somebody that you can break down and build back up uh, with that much camera attention or camera time so she enters at seven she's looking all happy walking down the ring charlotte ambushes her um a bit like she did with becky and she takes uh candace's spot in the rumble doing an edge in the elimination chamber a few years back so candace is out charlotte is in at number seven uh the commentators are loving it they're going well number seven it's unlucky for some uh, and then Renee goes, well, it's lucky for Charlotte, ha, ha, ha. And they all have a great laugh at um, our expense. Oh, that would be really bad, wouldn't it? Um, so that's, that's very good. Um, the Rumble is living up to all expectations. Charlotte and Becky don't engage in anything yet. They're sort of on opposite ends of the ring. They're eliminating people simultaneously. You know, Becky will eliminate somebody. Charlotte will eliminate somebody. We think that they're coming together because the commentators are also going, oh my God, these two are cleaning house. When are they going to come together? You know, lines like that. You know, so um, what happens next is the Iconics are both in at this stage. They've not been eliminated. They've both got Charlotte over the top rope. Her hand is on the apron. She's teetering. Asuka gets up off her chair, pulls her arm. Charlotte's eliminated. Asuka is looking all high and mighty. And Charlotte, she's got to walk back. She's got nothing. She can't do anything. Becky Lynch goes on to win the Royal Rumble. And we have three potential storylines to come out of it. We have Becky and Asuka at WrestleMania for the SmackDown belt. Becky and Ronda, which I'll get to for the Raw belt. And Asuka and Charlotte, that plants the seed for that. So we move on to the next Raw. And uh, the next Raw. The next SmackDown. And Becky goes... I've made my choice, you know, but you all have to wait. 
I've made it, but you're waiting until next week. I will show up, I'll tell you who I've, who I've picked, and I'll put on the best match ever, reclaiming my belt. Yeah, something like that. One of those generic sort of Raw Rumble winner promos. Um, Becky then turns up to Raw the next week, and she goes, I've made my choice. I told you, I'm here. Ronda Rousey, you're mine, your belt is mine. Make the match, WrestleMania 35, Becky and Ronda, main event. We all want to see it. We all want to see it. Do not tell me that you do not want to see that match. Uh, we've been owed it since Survivor Series. Unfortunate circumstances, but we've been owed it. We're going to get it on the grandest stage of them all. And I think Becky goes over. And it's not because I like Becky, but because of what I'll get to in a moment. So what making this match does is that it gets... It gets a couple of things done. It gets the Becky and Ronda match that we all want to see. It gets the Charlotte and Asuka rematch, I guess, roles are reversed. Um, gets Charlotte out of that Ronda Rousey picture because lots of people have, have said, oh, it should be a triple threat at Mania. And I don't think it should. I don't know how you win. If, if it goes the way that I think it'll go, and a lot of people think it'll go with Becky winning the Rumble, I don't know how you get Charlotte in on that as well. There are probably ways around it, yeah, but I don't quite see it. So what I think happens now is that Charlotte's out of the picture. Charlotte is hung up with Asuka, Ronda and Becky. They both have fantastic matches. Asuka retains. I think that has to happen because of what I'm about to get into. Uh, Becky wins at, at Mania. She goes over on Ronda Rousey. Uh, sending uh, the professional wrestling world into a whirlwind. It's Ronda's first loss. Oh my god. It's exactly like what happened to Asuka. Will we get the same result? I hope not. I hope that Ronda can bounce back. Uh, but, but she then goes to SmackDown. Ronda goes to SmackDown in the brand split with her tail between her legs because that Fox deal means a lot. It means a lot to SmackDown. They want to be the A show. Uh, Fox want them to be the A show, so they need the best, the biggest names, I guess. And I know that it's going to be very difficult for Raw to base their division off Becky, but you've also got Alexa, Sasha Bailey. Uh, you can build a division around those four, no doubt. I know that SmackDown then have Ronda, Asuka, and Charlotte. But I think it needs to happen going forward because then you've got the Charlotte and Ronda feud that we all want to see. I guess it's there. Got Asuka as well. We haven't seen anything of Ronda and Asuka. I think that they'll be good matches. So you can build a division around those three and you can build a division around those four on Raw, as I mentioned. Um, so, yeah, I think that that is about it. I think that Ronda goes to SmackDown after losing to Becky. Becky wins the Rumble, wins the belt, holds it for a long time before we get a Sasha heel turn. And I think that Charlotte needs to lose because A, she can take a loss, but I think that she needs to, if she is to go how I go, uh, how I've booked it, she needs to be protected in those losses. So I think that that's about it for that. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I had a lot of fun thinking this up and writing a little bit. So I really enjoyed that, really enjoyed making this video. Uh, if you want to see more of it, please like and subscribe and comment. If you change anything, I'm open to that because, as I said, this is just fantasy. Um, I could have missed out something that you want to add in. You know, I think we could really make something uh, accumulative or good together. I think I'm along on the right tracks. I think Becky does need to win the Rumble because it gets her that Ronda match. It also gets gives Ronda a good excuse to go to SmackDown. Whether they do it in the brand split or not, that's another thing because you've also got to think you can't really have Ronda just go to SmackDown because somebody's got to go over to Raw, but somebody's already gone over to Raw. So I think that she'll just show up on SmackDown going, this is my home now. Um, and it's sort of... Yeah, it makes Becky look really, really strong. But I think it's it's a weakness that Ronda can put over, I guess. I think that she could wear. I think she could take that. You know, she goes, well, I lost, but I'm here. Everybody goes, well, it's Ronda. That's awesome. Um, so, no, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Uh, have a good day. If you want me to do any more booking, um, 
leave your opinion on that down in the comments. I'm happy to do it. Uh, that's about it. Thank you again and goodbye.